Okay, it's my second and last day here in Gyeongju. I'm just waiting until sun sets because I heard it's really beautiful here at night. Especially the palace, I heard it lights up and it'll be great for taking pictures and um, video recording. It costs about uh, 3,000 won to come in here. So today is a better day, much better than yesterday. Yesterday I spent hours walking, walking, and couldn't find anything that was worth um, seeing. Alright, it's starting to get dark and looks beautiful here. I think this is my favorite place so far in Gyeongju. Beautiful. All right, it's night time.
Alright, time to ladies. They close here at 10. So if you want to come to Gyeongju, um, all you need is like maybe a day or two, but definitely come here. Like once you arrive at nighttime, definitely come here. This is definitely worth it. Other places, um, a lot of historical sites like um, Buddhist temples. If you're into Buddhism, then yeah, why not? Go ahead. But if you're not, then uh, you're gonna be disappointed because uh, once you get there, there's not there's not much to see, and usually you have to take like almost over an hour by bus just to get there. All right, they're closing down. I had a great time here. Good thing uh, the hostel manager convinced me to stay and not go back to Seoul because. Yesterday night, I was like, I gotta get back to Seoul. And I was planning to go back today, regardless if I get my um, hostel money back or not. But she convinced me to stay, and I thank her for that. I felt like I didn't get enough footage, but uh, hopefully after some creative editing, uh, it'll be enough. Am I creative? Let me ask all of you YouTubers, am I creative? Thank you. 